Hello and welcome. In this video, you will learn about three different ways that buyers can enable standard account suppliers for non-PO invoicing. Let's start by going through some basics. What is standard account enablement? This is a way to enable suppliers on the Ariba network. By using email, buyers can send any supplier a PO immediately through the Ariba network that contains a valid email address. The supplier can then use the PO to register and to send order confirmations and flip orders into invoices with a single click. There are no fees for suppliers and no limit to the number of documents exchanged. What is non-PO invoicing? This is an invoice that is not associated to a purchase order or contract and is ideal for small, one-off purchases for non-sourced categories. A supplier can create and submit a non-PO invoice in their standard account on Ariba Network. So how does standard account enablement work with non-PO invoicing? So by contrast, in a PO-based scenario, the PO is used as the trigger document that allows the supplier to register and subsequently links the supplier and buyer account together systematically. In a scenario without a purchase order, there are three options to create a supplier standard account and link it to the buyer account. This video will discuss all three options. And what are some of the benefits of using standard account and non-PO invoicing? Both standard account and non-PO invoicing are typically used for low volume, one-off suppliers. For example, a one-time freelancer payment. This provides a completely free solution for tailspin invoices uh, that will automate invoices, track spend, and add control to workflow and approval rules where a full PO may not be justified. Now we will go through the three options available to enable a standard account supplier when there is no PO as a trigger document to systematically link the buyer account to the supplier account. Option one is to use a penny PO. The penny PO acts as a dummy PO in order to link the supplier and buyer account together without actually making a purchase. The penny PO will look exactly like a standard account interactive email PO, but it will only be for one cent and only needs to be sent one time. The document flow is as follows. First, buyer sends a penny PO via a standard account interactive email PO to the supplier. The supplier receives the interactive email PO and uses the link that's embedded within the PO to register their standard account. The Ariba network relationship is now established. Once registered, the supplier can now access the create non-PO invoice option on their standard account homepage. So in this scenario, the trigger document is the interactive email penny PO that will link the accounts together. So two things to consider in this scenario, the setup and linkage of the vendor keys within the supplier and buyer relationship happens systematically uh, between the accounts. The communication with the supplier will be key here so they understand the purpose of the penny PO and so that they do not fulfill it. Option two is a CC invoice or a carbon copy invoice. A CC invoice is an electronic copy of the invoice that contains an attached invoice and is sent from SAP Ariba Buying Solutions or from the ERP system to the Ariba network. Suppliers can then log into their Ariba network account and view the status of their invoice and monitor the progress of the invoice through the invoice reconciliation process. In this scenario, the document flow is as follows. The buyer will enter the paper invoice either into Ariba Buying and Invoicing or into their ERP and send a CC invoice to the Ariba network. The supplier then receives an invoice status email notification from the CC invoice uh, that is then used as a trigger document for the supplier to register a standard account. Once registered, the supplier can access and create the non-PO invoice on their standard account homepage. So in this scenario, the trigger document is the CC invoice invoice status email notification sent to the supplier um, as part of the CC invoice process. And within that notification, there is a link that they can use to register their standard account. Uh, so two things to consider in this scenario, the setup and linkage of the vendor keys between the supplier account and the buyer account will happen systematically. Um, and the communication will be important with the supplier so they understand the purpose of the invoice status email notification that they will receive. Option three is the supplier walk-up registration process. The document flow is as follows. The supplier will complete a walk-up account registration at supplier.ariba.com. At this time, no buyer relationship will exist. The supplier then will provide the buyer with their ANID of their newly registered standard account, 
The buyer then will create a relationship through their Ariba Network buyer account by searching for that supplier's ANID and manually sending a relationship requests. Then the buyer has to configure the vendor keys in either Ariba buying and invoicing or in their ERP. In this scenario, there is no trigger document that will link the accounts together. This is one of the key considerations because this becomes a manual process for the buyer to update the vendor keys every time a new standard account supplier registers. Lastly, this is showing a screenshot of the supplier's standard account homepage. In the upper right hand corner, you can see the option to create a non-PO invoice. From this screen, the supplier will be taken to a form to create and submit their non-PO invoice. There's also a single click option for the supplier to upgrade their standard account to an enterprise account at the top of the page if they want to take advantage of additional features such as inbox and outbox access, integration, and catalogs. Please reach out to your customer engagement executive with questions.